We are about 40 miles or so south of Candlestick Point at a place that first opened back in 2014. As you get a look at Levi Stadium here in Santa Clara, California. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Dallas Cowboys. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, they'll start this drive at about the 37-yard line. So here are the Chiefs now coming out for their opening drive. As we get a peek at the former Red Raider and 10th pick in the 2017 draft, Patrick Mahomes. Well, Mahomes can't get away, and down he goes. A bad start there, a big loss on their first play from scrimmage. It's second down. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Now a pass that's taken in by Hill. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. Face mask. Defense. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it is going to be 15 yards. Mahomes now to throw. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Sammy Watkins, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. Mahomes will try again on second down. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down? The offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you've got the ball, Four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock the Alvin away and bring up second down. Mahomes now on first down. They complete it to Hill. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. 15 yards last play and 15 yards here this go around. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. It'll be a gain of five there as they move closer. It's second and goal. When we talk about being on schedule, I think they're on schedule after that run, getting it right down there on the doorstep. Maybe even a little bit ahead because now the defense can't dictate with... And he is in. Touchdown, Kansas City. Punching it in from a yard away as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. That's just a solid, methodical drive to start this game. And how about how it culminated? Doing exactly what they wanted to do, getting the ball downfield, and then running it into the end zone. I'm just telling you, partner, when you run it in rather than throw it in, that hurts a defense psychologically a heck of a lot more. Extra point through the snowflakes, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So here now the Cowboy offense onto the field to get their first crack at it. They'll be led out by Dak Prescott, the 135th pick of the draft back in 2016 from Mississippi State. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 22. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 11 yards in a Cowboy first down. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. And if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Now a play fake here on first down. On the crossing route, he hits his man, Amari Cooper. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. 23 yards, the final tally. So Amari Cooper out of Northwestern High School in Miami making a nice play there. And it's so funny that when I was going through the draft process when he came out of Alabama and was inquiring about him and his skills, they say it all began back in... Oh, Prescott stripped, and it's picked up by the Chiefs. You know I love football. You know I love the game. I hope so. But nighttime in December, you know I'm wearing multiple coats. <laughs> so I just wonder about the guys on the field with all the great gear that they have. 
Do they have enough on, or do they have too much on? Because sometimes that can affect you trying to carry the ball. Big yardage after the catch. That one winds up going for 36. It's not a surprise when you read scouting reports and watch tape because you know he's a heck of a player. But he is so difficult to get down in the open field. They just want to get him the ball and let him do his thing. And he's going to get this inside the 30. It'll go as a gain of 10 and a Kansas City first down. On first down, Mahomes being chased out left. He'll try and run it, and they'll get this down to the 10. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. Partner as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Mahomes going to throw. And that's caught. It's Kelsey. Touchdown, Kansas City. Ten yards on the touchdown pass. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. They've got to be thrilled on the road right now. Touchdown, turnover, touchdown, and quickly trying to make it 14 to nothing. Yeah, and mentioned it already. On the road, to be able to go into someone else's house and establish a start like that, obviously your confidence rises in a big way, and you're putting some doubt in their minds. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession. 15-0 our score. It's the NFL on EA Sports. Cooper's got it. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. Had a little arc on it. He's got to find a way to get his head around and make a play on the football. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 46. Here's Elliott. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Single, single, slot, slot. Hey, where's that? They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. He'll buy some time right. And he's going to keep it here. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead, he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir. Able to turn that into a positive game. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all, and I understand why. They've looked lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. And problems spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Now here's Mahomes. It's Hill, complete. 
It'll go as a gain of 10 and a Kansas City first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, yeah. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Man, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. The Notre Dame man, Jalen Smith, able to get a hand in and knock it away. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, it was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. That goes for a Chiefs first down, 14 yards. Mahomes now 9 of 11 passing in this first half. He's got his guys at first and 10. He's got the first down here inside the 30. And down to the 19-yard line. A big hitter there. A first down gain of 26 yards. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. A reminder, coming up at halftime, while the two of us head for warmer areas of the press box, we'll be sending you to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time, and a first down. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. Touchdown, Chiefs! Not the first time on this drive we saw him take matters into his own hands, and this time he finishes things off with a touchdown run. You're not going to be happy with me, but I think he took matters into his own feet, didn't he? No! Oh. <laughs> Davis from the top rope. <laughs> I like it. Point after, right down the middle. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. So that drive goes eight plays. And it was all capped by Patrick Mahomes using his legs to get in the end zone. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here. Or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here. But you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. A first down throw for Prescott. He finds Randall Cobb with a completion. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Prescott now. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. To the air again, Prescott. And this is caught by Witten, the tight end. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he'll be marked down all the way inside the KC-10. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal for an offense that has not found the end zone yet. That's a big play. There's the spark right there. The big play that they needed. Now they've got to go ahead and finish this drive and put this ball in the end zone. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout 
as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. From the two now, second and goal. They'll throw again, Prescott. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Randall Cobb as the first half is winding down as they are now on the board here in the first half. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour of NFL camps. You remember we, we talked with that one coach who said his emphasis this year was scoring in the last two minutes yep. of a half, heading into the locker room. This hits it right there. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take the locker room, regroup, and start over. They got it here. They did indeed. A lot of football. Full half to be played. But he won't go down. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Time for a final kneel down or a safe run, and then they can head to the locker room with a lead. Yeah, or they can even run a screen. You know, something they feel is somewhat safe that might actually pop and turn into a big play, that's what you usually run in this situation. Or go four verticals because why not? Because you're feeling it, right? <laughs> you're just feeling it. All right, hang on. We'll jump over halftime. Not much has changed since we left you at halftime. The snow is still continuing to fall as we are back underway. This is fielded a couple yards deep. They'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. Out come the Cowboys now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. The first down carry by Elliott. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Again, it's Elliott. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And he'll have his man, that's Cooper. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 36. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight... Oh, Prescott stripped, and it's picked up by the Chiefs. And now nothing but green ahead of him. He's at the 30, 20. And it's a huge return as he brings us all the way back down to the 15-yard line. So the turnover forced and a wonderful job on a big return. And how about the convoy that got created to help him get all the way back upfield? I mean, that's the part that people miss on. That's practice. That's worked on. It doesn't just happen in a game and everyone rallies. They discuss it prior to, and everyone knows their role when they create a turnover like that. Throwing again on second and 10. Mahomes, Kansas City touchdown. Well, the defensive coverage was good, so good, he just decided to make a play of his own, and it worked out. Yeah, you often wonder if they think to themselves, was the coverage too good to allow him to run the football? But I think you'd rather take your chances with him doing exactly that, and he beat him on that play all the way to the end zone. The extra point splits the uprights, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This fielded at the two. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. 
About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And last time the turnover on the fumble, and they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> Down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, and pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they thought they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing, not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that bad taste out of their mouth here? A gain of five, good enough for the first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. Going to take a shot for Gallup. This is intercepted. Picked off at the 13. And he'll return it to the 24-yard line. Well, it's a cold night. And whether you're a quarterback that wears a glove on his throwing hand or not, that ball is a rock, Brandon. You've got to really drive it through the cold and the wind, or it can take off on you. And that may have been what happened there. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start... He's got a man complete. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Sammy Watkins, 76 yards. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. Well, this is exactly where I expect teams to take a shot. Right after a turnover, you count on the defense being a little bit jumbled coming out on the field, maybe catch them back on their heels, and that's exactly what they did there. They threw it downfield and really... Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And this fake extra point attempt failed big time. Not only did they not get it, they went backwards. They've got this big lead. They said, forget one, we want two. Instead, they got zero. Unbelievable that they even attempt it from the 15-yard line. What are they thinking? I do know this. When you fake one in this situation with that type of a lead, especially from the 15-yard line, oh, boy. I, I tell you what, meeting them again somewhere down the line, they'll remember, they'll remember this. Yeah, they'll think that they were trying to clown them a little bit. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime, they went through some possible changes. Well, those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I think that now it's much more in their head. And what I mean by that is just what you said. You've gone over the changes. I bet they were pretty clinical at the half, not too emotional. They might need to go to the emotional side <laughs> because you've got to find something, some spark somewhere. And so far... Just being calm hasn't exactly worked. They need any spark at this point. And he slips up it. past the 45 before being tackled. 13 yards and a first down, Cowboys. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. Prescott gets this to the tight end, Jarwin. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Now Elliott. And an alley to run. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. So after a good run by Zeke, another first and 10. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. Completes it to Jason Witten. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Give him a couple on the catch, it's second and eight. Tim carry now for Elliott. 
And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. I tell you, they didn't give it to him much through the first three quarters, but when they have, he's been efficient. Maybe they ride him more here down the stretch. Yeah, I'm not sure it was actually in the game plan for him to have as few carries as he has, but it might play out really well for them now. As you noted, they want to ride him down the stretch. He should have fresh legs. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. So that run gets him about halfway home. Yeah, it's now second and goal. The end zone beckons. It looms. They can do whatever they want. Full playbook. Run it again, or they can go play action and try to put it in that way. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. They'll try to run it in with Elliott. And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Cowboys cut into that lead. Able to punch it in on third down makes it easier for those guys on the sideline. They didn't have a fourth down decision to make. Yeah, could you feel the exhale? Because they were already thinking ahead as all the good coaching staffs do. Anticipating what we have to make the call. They already had it lined up. Never even got to it. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And the Chiefs are going to make the recovery. Now they're down big here in the fourth. They had to try the onside kick. Can't fault them for the effort at least. No, you can't at all. And if nothing else, now you've put something that you're trying to practice, right, that you, you've worked on into a game situation, and now you can go back and dissect it. So if you need it again sometime, maybe you'll find a better way to do it. But, yeah, this game's pretty much done for them. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Looking downfield for Kelsey. Now he almost intercepted it. They haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. Now Mahomes. And an alley to run. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. So first and 10 now from the 30. Throwing now is Mahomes. Going to let one fly for Robinson. And a scary incompletion almost picked off. It would have been their first INT of the game. Instead, second down. To throw once more on second and 10. Mahomes flush to his right. And this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. Mahomes now to throw, sliding out of the pocket. He may try and run for this. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Containing him is becoming a big problem. We've already seen this once earlier on this drive. Yeah, and so now two times this has happened. Do you adjust something? Yeah, I think you do. I think you have something about your rush lanes. Try not to either get too wide or too narrow. Make sure someone is there waiting for him to take off. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. Now meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted but it winds up falling incomplete. His favorite target, Travis Kelsey, the intended receiver. And it'll bring up third down. Here's Mahomes to throw. Buying time to his left. And it's incomplete, broken up. But there is a flag down. Let's see what that's about. Some boos coming down right now from this home crowd after that call. Yeah, and that was because of the pass interference call. But for a second there, I thought maybe they'd gotten a look at my... Uh, Appearances. And he will score. Touchdown, Kansas City. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. Defensively by now, you know his ability. You know he has it in him to take off and run. Yeah, because they knew coming into this game, but we've already seen examples in this contest that he can run the football. I think they're going to examine different ways to rush him now. Is it, Are they going to do it with different lanes? Are they going to use a spy? But they have to come up with options because right now, he's hurting them. I know we could sit up here and dance around it a little bit. But going for two in this situation, 
Somebody didn't like someone else. <laughs> There's no doubt in my mind. Well, what they couldn't see is you lean back in your chair and you went, I mean, you, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not a good decision. They didn't get it, though. Yeah, I don't think you just say, well, my kicker's hurt in this spot. No. No, okay. Exit, exit. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. It'll be a pickup of 15 as that'll lead to third down. Now on third down, an extra DB out there for the Chiefs. Prescott from the gun. A fight for the football and it's intercepted. Picked off by Bashad Breland. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. I'm not sure, Brandon, we've seen a sloppier played game this year for a team on offense. Turn it over four times and expect to win? No chance whatsoever. And look, I have no idea what the ratio is about turn over four times and how that correlates to winning or losing, but I'll guarantee you, it's not very good. A little too aggressive defensively, oh, and the flag no. comes out. And no one trying to cover is going to like a call going against them, but you have to like the effort there. Went for the interception, just unable to get it, and the flag did come out. Now a pass that's taken in by Hill, and he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. That one good for 12 yards in a Kansas City first. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. He's going to take off with it. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. 23 yards on the tuck and run. Not only another first down, that also puts him over 100 yards rushing. That's not something you see very often in the NFL. We see it more in time. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. And that rushing touchdown is fourth, puts him just one shy of the NFL record in a single game. And we all know he would love to get to that record and even beyond it, but he doesn't need to in order to impress in this one, does he? What a, what a performance. What an absolute great game that he's had here in this one. Protection was great. He had time to set up a campsite. But in the secondary, though, they were ready. And I think that in most places on the field, if you have that much time to throw the ball, Someone's going to shake free, and you'll find an open receiver. But condensed near the goal line on a two-point conversion, all that exit, you know, there's not any extra field. So it kind of closes in on them, and that allows you to cover a little bit better. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Drops it underneath to Elliott. And he'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. Prescott looks to throw on first. And he'll hit the slant route. That's caught by Cooper. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. A big offensive explosion help leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. 